Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at percent of change with a percent increase. We're going to answer the question, how can I calculate the percentage that something increases? So percent of change describes the change over time by either an increase or markup or a decrease or discount. It is the percent by which something changes from the original to the new. Today we're going to be specifically looking at the percent increase or going up such as from 30 to 45 or from $72 to $90. Those numbers are going up. So the first thing that you want to do to calculate the percent increase is determine the original and the new and find the amount of change between the original and new by subtracting. Then we will set up a percent proportion to solve for the percent of change. So this is what your proportion will look like, however much you changed out of the original amount, and then we'll set it equal to, we're not gonna know what that is, so we'll put an X out of 100, and then we'll solve that to tell us the percent proportion. So let's look at this one. It said the price of a ticket to a movie theater went from $10 to $12. What is the percent of change? So there's two important things I need to recognize right here. $10 is the original. I'm going to use that in my proportion. And then from $10 to $12, my change was 2. So my proportion would start with 2 out of 10. My original movie theater ticket was $10. And then I changed it from 10 to 12, which is $2. And now I want to know what percent of change that is. So I'm going to set it up as X over 100. And now I am going to cross multiply to solve this proportion. So I'm going to do 2 times 100, which is 200. And then 10 times X, which is 10X. And then I'm going to divide by 10. And I get that 20 equals X. So that means from the $10 to the $12, there was a 20% increase. Okay, let's look at number two. It says, Harry got an 80 in math last year and a 90 this year. What is the percent of change? So the original that he got was an 80. And then we need to figure out the change. He went from an 80 to a 90. So I'm going to do 90 minus 80 to figure the change out, which would be 10. So now I can set up my proportion of the change over the original. So it's going to be 10 over 8. 10 over 80 equals, I want to know what percent that is out of 100. And now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. Actually, before I cross multiply, I'm going to simplify this fraction a little bit right here. 10 and 80 are both divisible by 10. So that can simplify to 1 out of 8 equals x out of 100. Okay, now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. 1 times 100 is 100 and 8 times x is 8x. So then I'm going to divide by 8 and 100 divided by 8 is 12.5. So I get that x equals 12.5. So that is a 12.5% increase in Harry's math score. Okay, let's look at number 3. Jacob is the catcher on his baseball team. He made six outs in his most recent game. The last game before that, he made three outs. What is the percent of change? So his original would be the previous game, three outs. So the original is three outs. And then we want to know how much he changed. Well, if he went from 3 to 6, I would do 6 minus 3, and I get 3. So that means my proportion is going to be 3 out of 3. My change was 3, and the original was 3, equals x out of 100. 
So if I cross multiply to solve this, I get three times 100, which is 300, equals three times x, which is three x, and then I divide by three, and I get 100 equals x. So that means that Jacob had a 100% increase. Okay, let's look at number four. Kat has been keeping track of how fast she can type. In sixth grade, she types 50 words per minute. In seventh grade, she types 80 words per minute. What is the percent of change? So her original was the 50 words per minute. And then the change I would figure out by doing 80 minus 50, since in sixth grade she was 50 and in seventh grade she was 80 words per minute. And that is 30. So now I can set up the proportion, the change 30 over the original 50 equals some percentage out of 100. Okay, now I'm gonna simplify this fraction a little bit further. 30 and 50 are both divisible by 10. So my simplified ratio would be three over five and that equals X out of 100. Okay, now I'm going to cross multiply to solve this. Three times 100 is 300 and five times X is five X. And then I'm going to divide by five and 300 divided by five is 60. So that would be a 60% increase in her words per minute. Okay, let's look at number five. When a baby giraffe is born, it is 180 centimeters tall. When it is one week old, it is 198 centimeters tall. What is the percent of change? So when it was born, it was 180 centimeters tall. So that's the original. And then to find the change, I'm gonna do how tall it is after a week, which is 198 minus 180, which is 18. So now I can set up my proportion. I'm gonna do the change over the original, which is 18 over 180 equals X out of 100. What percentage out of 100? Okay, before I solve this proportion, I'm gonna simplify this ratio by dividing both of the numbers by 18. And I get my new simplified ratio of one over 10 equals X out of 100. Now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. One times 100 is 100, and 10 times X is 10X. And now I'm going to divide by 10 and 100 divided by 10 is 10. So that means that in the giraffe's first week of life, it had a 10% increase in its height. Okay, let's look at our last one, number six. A lion is jogging at a speed of 30 miles per hour. When it sees prey that it wants to catch, it speeds up to running at a speed of 45 miles per hour. What is the percent of change? So the original speed of the lion was 30 miles per hour, and then it speeds up to 45 miles per hour. So to find the change, I would do 45 minus 30, which is 15. So now I'm ready to set up my proportion. The change is 15 and the original was 30. And I want to know what percent out of 100 that is. So now I'm gonna simplify this first ratio, 15 and 30 are both divisible by 15. And that ratio simplifies to one over two equals X out of 100. And now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. One times 100 is 100, and then two times x is two x, and then I would divide by two, and I get that x equals 50. So that means that the lion had a 50% increase in its speed whenever it saw prey.